Imagine stepping back 100,000 years into a world where survival meant everything. Picture Europe not as the temperate continent we know today, but as a harsh, unforgiving landscape where massive glaciers carved through valleys and bitter winds swept across endless tundra. This was the domain of the Neanderthals, our closest evolutionary cousins, who called this. The Neanderthals weren't primitive cave dwellers as once believed. They were sophisticated survivors, perfectly adapted to one of the most challenging environments our planet has ever known. Their story is one of remarkable resilience, intelligence, an adaptation that challenges everything we thought we knew about our ancient relatives. 100,000 years ago, Europe existed in the grip of an ice age that would make our harshest winters seem like gentle spring days. Imagine standing on what we now call the French countryside, but instead of rolling green hills, you'd see an endless expanse of permafrost and tundra stretching to the horizon. Massive woolly mammoths thundered across these plains, their tusks gleaming in the pale Arctic sun, while cave lions prowled through shadowy valleys carved by ancient glaciers. This was the Neanderthal's world, a place where temperatures rarely rose above freezing, where finding food meant tracking dangerous megafauna, and where shelter could mean the difference between life and death. Yet somehow, these remarkable humans not only survived, but thrived in this frozen wilderness for hundreds of thousands of years. The landscape itself tells a story of incredible adaptation. Archaeological evidence shows us that Neanderthals chose their living sites with extraordinary care. Sure selecting cave entrances that faced south to capture maximum sunlight, and positioning themselves near water sources that wouldn't freeze completely. They understood their environment with an intimacy that modern humans can barely comprehend. The Neanderthal body was a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering, perfectly sculpted by millennia of Ice Age living. Picture a human built like a powerhouse, shorter and more compact than modern humans with barrel chests that could process the thin, cold air more efficiently. Their massive brow ridges weren't just for show. They housed large sinuses that warmed incoming air before it reached their lungs. Their hands tell an incredible story of adaptation. Neanderthal fingers were thick and powerful, capable of gripping tools and weapons with a strength that would dwarf modern humans. These weren't clumsy appendages, but precision instruments capable of crafting sophisticated tools and creating the first known adhesives by processing birch bark into tar. Perhaps most remarkably, recent genetic studies revealed that Neanderthals possessed the same language genes as modern humans. This means they likely communicated through complex speech, sharing knowledge about hunting strategies, tool-making techniques, and survival wisdom. That had been, fire was more than warmth to the Neanderthals. It was life itself. Archaeological sites across Europe reveal sophisticated hearths, carefully constructed to maximize heat while minimizing smoke. These weren't simple campfires but engineered heating systems that could warm entire cave complexes for months at a time. The mastery of fire enabled something revolutionary, cooking. Anderthals were among the first humans to systematically cook their food, which not only made tough mammoth meat digestible, but also released more calories and nutrients. This extra nutrition fueled their large brains and robust bodies, creating a cycle of innovation that would define their species. Their stone tools reveal an artistry that borders on the miraculous. Using a technique called lavala napping, Neanderthals could transform a rough piece of flint into dozens of sharp, precisely shaped tools. Each strike of stone against stone was calculated following mental templates that had been perfected over generations. These weren't random attempts, but sophisticated manufacturing processes that required years of training to master. Hunting wasn't just about survival for Neanderthals. It was a complex social activity that required unprecedented cooperation and planning. Picture a group of Neanderthal hunters standing at the edge of a vast plain, watching a herd of woolly mammoths grazing in the distance. These weren't random attacks, but carefully orchestrated operations that could take days or even weeks to plan and execute. The weapons they used were marvels of engineering. Neanderthal spears weren't simple pointed sticks, but sophisticated composite tools, featuring perfectly balanced wooden shafts tipped with carefully crafted stone points, all held together with organic adhesives. Recent experiments show these weapons could penetrate mammoth hide with deadly efficiency when thrown with proper technique. But perhaps most impressive was their understanding of animal behavior. Neanderthals knew exactly when and where mammoths would migrate, 
which watering holes they preferred, and how to drive entire herds toward natural traps like cliffs or narrow valleys. This knowledge wasn't instinctual, but learned. Ch shared through generations of hunters who studied their prey with scientific precision. Neanderthal society was built on something revolutionary for its time. Compassion. Archaeological evidence reveals numerous examples of Neanderthals caring for disabled or injured community members, sometimes for years. Imagine discovering the skeleton of a Neanderthal man who lived for decades despite being completely blind. His survival only possible through the dedicated care of his family and community. Children weren't just small adults in Neanderthal society, but cherished members who received careful education and protection. Young Neanderthals learned through play and observation, gradually mastering the complex skills needed for survival. They played games that taught them to track animals, practiced with miniature tools, and listened to stories that preserved crucial survival knowledge. The emotional depth of Neanderthal society becomes clear when we examine their burial practices. They were among the first humans to intentionally bury their dead, sometimes with flowers and personal possessions. These weren't mere disposal of bodies, but ceremonial acts that suggest a sophisticated understanding of death, memory, and the importance of honoring those who had passed. Neanderthal innovation wasn't limited to tools and weapons. They were the first interior designers, creating organized living spaces that maximized comfort and efficiency. Archaeological sites reveal distinct areas for different activities, cooking zones near hearths, sleeping areas lined with animal furs, and workshop spaces where tools were manufactured and repaired. Their clothing was another marvel of adaptation. Using sophisticated techniques, Neanderthals created fitted garments from animal hides, complete with stitched seams and reinforced stress points. These weren't crude wrappings, but tailored clothing systems that could keep the wearer warm in temperatures that would quickly kill an unprotected human. Perhaps most remarkably, evidence suggests that Neanderthals were the first humans to create symbolic art. Cave paintings in Spain, created over 65,000 years ago, show that Neanderthals possess the cognitive ability for abstract thought and symbolic representation. Capabilities once thought to be uniquely modern human traits. Around 50,000 years ago, something extraordinary happened that would change the course of human history forever. Modern humans, our direct ancestors, began migrating out of Africa and into the European territories that had been Neanderthal homelands for hundreds of thousands of years. This wasn't a conquest, but a meeting of equals. Two sophisticated human species encountering each other for the first time. The interactions between these groups were far more complex than simple competition. Archaeological evidence suggests periods of coexistence that lasted thousands of years, with both groups sharing territories and resources. In some regions, Neanderthal and modern human settlements existed side by side, each learning from the other's innovations and survival strategies. DNA analysis reveals the most intimate aspect of this relationship, interbreeding. Modern humans carry between 1 to 4% Neanderthal DNA, proof that these weren't separate species, but compatible populations capable of producing fertile offspring. This genetic legacy means that Neanderthals never truly went extinct. They live on in every person of non-African descent alive today. The Neanderthal genetic contribution to modern humans wasn't random, but highly significant. Many of the genes we inherited from our Neanderthal ancestors are related to immune system function, helping modern humans adapt to the diseases and pathogens they encountered as they spread across Europe and Asia. In essence, Neanderthals gave us biological tools that were crucial for our own survival and success. Their technological innovations also provided a foundation for modern human development. The sophisticated tool-making techniques, fire management skills, and hunting strategies that Neanderthals had perfected over millennia became part of the toolkit that enabled modern humans to thrive in challenging environments across the globe. Perhaps most importantly, Neanderthals showed us what it meant to be human in the deepest sense. Their capacity for compassion, their artistic expression, their complex social structures demonstrated that humanity isn't defined by a single evolutionary path, but by the rich diversity of ways that intelligent beings can adapt and thrive. The story of the Neanderthals offers profound lessons for our modern world. Living through multiple ice ages, climate changes, and environmental challenges, 
They demonstrated the importance of adaptation, cooperation, and innovation in the face of adversity. Their success wasn't measured in domination, but in resilience, the ability to maintain their culture and identity. For over 300,000 years, today as we face our own environmental challenges, the Neanderthal example reminds us that survival depends not just on individual strength, but on community bonds, shared knowledge, and the wisdom to adapt without losing our essential humanity. They show us that different doesn't mean inferior, that diversity in human experience and capability is our greatest strength. The next time you look in the mirror, remember that you're seeing not just a modern human, but the living legacy of our Neanderthal cousins. Their DNA flows in your veins, their innovations shaped your world, and their story of survival against impossible odds continues in every challenge. You overcome in every act of compassion you show. In the end, the Neanderthals teach us that being human isn't about perfection, but about perseverance. Not about dominance, but about adaptation. Not about separation, but about the profound connections that bind all of humanity together across the vast expanse of time.